Hey, text on asset. How's it going, my good old pal, best buddy friend? For his uncle Craig. Hi, I'm text on asset. I'm the greatest character. Besides Macaroni, because he's better. Shut up, you don't need to introduce yourself to the audience every time you speak. You do realize that, right? You do this every time, every episode, I swear. Shut up, for one second. Sorry, I have memory loss. It is very severe. I'm sorry. Wait, what were you talking about? Hey, Macaroni. So, uh, how, how long has it been since the last episode again? I don't know. I have memory loss, too. No, you don't. Stop pretending. Alright, can we do the elimination yet, or is that, like, uh, do we have to, like, wait, like, a whole minute or something? No, not really. There's nothing really stopping us. I mean, you can do it if you want. And yes, I mean you. Isn't the elimination, like, your favorite part of the episode? Yes, it is. I love eliminations. I have the best way to eliminate people. It will be absolutely amazing. You're going to love it. You, you will be incredibly stunned when I eliminate... Uh, whoever's gonna be eliminated. It will be absolutely incredible. You will love it. Alright, so I suppose let's play the elimination theme. Wait, do we even have that? Sorry, I kind of burned it in the campfire. There was a campfire. Yep, I burned it. That's okay, because it was really bad anyway. We don't need that. I, the greatest character, Macaroni, can do something even better. Witches! I have no idea. You're hilarious. So! As per usual, we received 12 votes this time. Same as usual, I guess. With one vote apiece, Text on Asset and Ball 8 are the first ones safe. They only received one vote, which means between Oil and Blue Snowball, they got all of the other 10 votes. Between the two, Oil is safe. What? Oh. Oh, that's actually- oh. I- I was really scared. And frankly, I'm glad that the viewers decided that they value Blue Snowball a lot less than me, because Blue Snowball sucks, and I hate her. We have never interacted before. Uh, what? Are you implying that I got eliminated? I'm gonna cry. I'm supremely sad. OMG, I'm hyperventilating. Look at me go! <laughs> Alright, Macaroni, so what's the twist? What, what, what's, what's the whole deal with how you're gonna eliminate Blue Snowball here? Okay, so, are you ready? I've got this cool thing. It's called, um, uh, 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 to be honest, I didn't actually prepare in advance. I have no idea how I'm gonna eliminate Blue Snowball. But I'm not making that the challenge because that would be too lazy. Aha! I have an idea! Watch me do something cool! Now that Blue Snowball is eliminated, we just advanced to the final seven of BFOA! I probably shouldn't announce that so triumphantly every single episode. I'm sure that'll get annoying really quickly. It's already getting on my nerves now, you fatty bimbo. Sorry, I had to get my fatty bimbo coat in. Look who's talking, Macaroni! You get on my nerves all the time! In fact, you know what, Macaroni? I'm sick of you, in general. You stole my show, you stole my everything, and I hate you, and frankly, you're the worst person ever, and also, hi, Noodle. Hi, Mac- I mean, yeah, uh, hi, Force Uncle Craig. I'm Noodle. Also, hi, Macaroni, I hate you, you're the worst person ever. Have I ever told you how much I hate you? I hope I have, but I'm going to do it anyway. anyways. You're the worst person ever, and I hope you burn and die. I genuinely hope the worst for you. Okay, bye. Gah, I'm very mad! Look at me go! I'm yelling! I am so very mad right now! I'm going to cry. Poor Uncle Craig, I despise you so much! You suck, you fatty bimbo num num bobo bimbo! You, you aggravate me the second most, because, you know, Noodle, kind of, she does that, number one, but I hate you anyway! I despise you, it's why I stole your show, I wanted to make you sad. And as for you, Noodle, you fatty bimbo, I hate you so much. That's it, that's it, not, I've had enough, I've had enough, I quit, I, I'm done, we're done, I can't do this anymore. I quit. But, but Macaroni, what, 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 what'll happen to our relationship? 
Oh, I don't mean me as a person. I just mean the person who's voicing me. They they quit. They're done with this. I mean, the the the. No, that's debatably even worse. Texo Nasset, speak to me. Hi right, guys, I'm Texo Nasset. This is also the last voice line of the episode that's voiced by me. So, yeah, you're not gonna hear this beautiful Texo Nasset voice by me for the rest of the episode. Okay, I quit now. Bye. No. Oh no! If Macaroni doesn't have a voice, that means he can't host! And if Macaroni can't host, does that just mean that we're all b just battling for... NOTHING? Uh, uh wait a minute. Didn't Macaroni already clarify that Macaroni's not quitting, just his voice is? Macaroni, say something! What's happened? Wait, no! Uh, this voice is horrible! Uh, now I sound like Noodle! This is- this is debatably even worse! Oh no! Oh no, Domo, come back! Come back, please! I need you! Uh, this is horrible! Why did we ever let this happen? I'm so sorry, Macaroni. No, you're not. Oh, yeah, you're right. Anyways, uh, text on asset, say something! Something! Oh no, this is worse than I thought! You have an entirely different voice actor than we've ever had before! Is this the guest star of this episode or something? Yeah, the name's Bad Brain! I like bad things, bad places, and bad people! Like Screenshot! Um, yeah, I had a really deep past. I used to be in a biker gang with this guy. I'm not making this up. Ah, uh, even you two, Screenshot! Huh? Whatever. Anyways, Bali, do you know what we should do? Hmm, I'm not sure, but uh, I do know that uh, I am bred. Uh, th 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 that's something Bali says, right? I, I think so. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. There's a voice of Bali. Uh, uh, bread, bread. Yeah. How? How? How many? Hey. Uh. Uh. Probably Uncle Steven. How many times am I supposed to say bread in a sentence? I don't know, um, Bali, but I really like your new voice. Oh, well, thank you, Probably Uncle Steven. I, your voice is. It's pretty cool as well, and uh, I guess I'm bred. I, I don't know. I'm having a crisis right now. Ah, uh, but I can't host with this abysmal voice, or else it'll get confused with Noodle, and it'll sound like Noodle's hosting, and I can't allow that because I hate Noodle. Have I told you how much I hate Noodle? Oh my god, I'm going to literally snap because I hate Noodle so much. I'm, I'm fuming right now. I am shaking. I hate Noodle so much, and I am going to go cry in the corner. Macaroni, if it means anything, we can make out in the corner if you'd like. Okay, ladies, I guess I'm gonna have to be the new host because of the rules of object shows! Uh, yeah, these rules were never elaborated on, but I think they were hinted at in BFOA 3, so I'll allow it. Carry on. Who cares? Those rules were made by Golf Ball like a million years ago! PNG a blue golf ball from BFB with arms wrote rules? I never knew about that. Yeah, you don't know a lot of things about the past that none of the characters ever talked about until now, conveniently. Anyways, the challenge is to get back in that kitchen and make me a sandwich already! But we don't have a kitchen, we just have this background. Well, go buy one, poor face! That's not my problem! Oh, and make it quick, I'm getting hungry! Alright, you heard him, let's go. Wait, do we even need a kitchen? What if we just used some ingredients and made a sandwich? Alright, uh... Do we have anything? Hmm, well, we do have bread, because, well... That's me, I am bread. But, I'm not sure what else we can use for our sandwich. Uh, well, I have, um, uh, a speck of oil. I got some spare change! Oh yeah, that too, alright, a, a spare change oil sandwich. Sounds delicious. Hmm, I think this sandwich should have some veggies too! Yeah, don't care, I'm submitting it as is. Hey, bad brain boy! Here's our sandwich! Oh, humina humina, yo, don't mind if I do, chomp! W w wait a minute! This sandwich doesn't even have any kitchen in it! Zero out of ten, try again, stupids! Yikes. Well, I'm not done with you yet! You need some punishment for cheating in the challenge! No. That's right, Ball 8, I'm taking your limbs off! I'm not Ball 8. Yeah, but it was Ball 8's idea. I could taste it in the sandwich. Oh no. Now I don't have any limbs. 
how am I supposed to be bred without any limbs? Oh no, uh, uh, I can't do anything I like to do before. Like, being bred... Wait, hold on. Like any other character trait besides being bred? Whatever, I'm bred. Alright, Oompa Loompas. We've got to do this challenge, but I have the best idea I've ever had. You know, I feel really smart today. It's a great day so far. We've got rid of Macaroni's voice. Actually, that was horrible. I don't care. It's been a great day so far. Anyways, let's go inside the exits, Uncle Timothy. That's right. You're all getting eliminated season one style. You're not actually eliminated. Don't worry. Let's go. Oh, wow, guys. Look, we're all orange now. Pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah. Oh no, I have jaundice! Ah, ah, uh. Alright, well, let's go to the kitchen. Yep, that's right. All along, I've had a kitchen inside of the Exit's Uncle Timothy. This has been canon all along, and has been brought up before- Man, we really need to stop doing this joke, it's really getting old. Anyways, I have a proposition for you. What makes a good sandwich? This is a question we must all ask ourselves. Is it the bread? Or the lettuce? I would say that the meat is integral in any good sandwich. Some people prefer to go without it, but that's besides the point. Condiments are the next logical step as they are created to have a dominant flavor, but sometimes I see burgers that don't have onions, so I'd say onions should be considered a condiment as they have another dominant flavor. Personally, my favorite part about a sandwich is that you can always take another bite. I don't like tomatoes, we already have ketchup. It's just overkill. One tomato product is enough. Out of all the ingredients of a burger, tomatoes are the only ones that I don't like. And you know what to do with ingredients that I don't like? I punch them! And grind them into ketchup. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Alright, well here we have our sandwich. Now I'm gonna go back uh, here, you guys. Let's go out of the exit, Uncle Timothy. Would you? Alright, bad brain. Here's our sandwich. Hmm. Looks okay. Smells okay, too. Tastes okay as well. This tastes fantastic. In fact, this sandwich is so good. Go get me a beer. What? 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 That wasn't part of the challenge? Why are you making us do this? Tension, babe. Of course. All right. So here we're in our text on kitchen. Are you guys ready to make this sandwich? Now that the other team has probably already finished, since we have just been sitting here doing basically nothing. Wow, I can't believe that we're doing this again. I, Bread, am honestly not surprised. That is very impressive. I would clap if I had hands, but I unfortunately lost my hands because Bad Brain took them away. You know, the hands that I, Bread, totally had. Yep, totally had those hands. Now they're gone. I'm sad. So, uh... Where are we gonna find a kitchen? Uh, we're already in our text on kitchen. You absolute- Hey, then! Wait, that's Force Uncle Craig's insult. No, I'm turning into Force Uncle Craig. No! Oh, wait, never mind. I'm just delusional. So, text on asset. Got any ideas? <sighs> I say we make a sandwich. That's a great idea! Why didn't I think of that? Wait, I have the best idea I've ever had for this challenge. Alright, so hear me out. So now we just gotta get into Bad Brain! Wait, ah, uh, we gotta get this beer faster! We can see them running, ah! Uh. Oh no! But the only beer in this area is all the way up there on that thing that's very high up. That I, I can't really see because it's really high up. I can't really tell what it's supposed to be. But no one here can fly. I'm getting arthritis. Why can't any of us fly? Looking at Garfungus, by the way. Ah! Hint, hint. Do something, please. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. BFO5. Flashback. Because this is a very appropriate time to do so. See you in BFO Season 2. Bye. Oh yeah, I can do that. Alright, I got the beer. Now. Here you go, bad brain. Oh, this sandwich is actually pretty good. I can taste the violence. Alright, 
Fush Uncle Craig, hand me that beer! Okay, here's the beer. Do we win yet? They didn't get you a beer. What? I never said this was a race! What? Huh? Oh, so, 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 so does that mean we win? Well, you were going to until you asked! The other team wins! Mmm, this beer tastes so good! What? Which contestant you want to go bye-bye with these letters in the square brackets? Actually, they're rectangular. Stupid computer people don't know anything. I'm going to murder you now because I don't want you as the host anymore. That was a very bad dream I just had. I didn't like that dream at all. It was very not good. <sighs> but I'm in the real world now. Hi, Macaroni. Go back to sleep with that pretty voice of yours. Ah!